Don't we all just hate that person that they warn you something is going to happen, you don't really give a shit, and then it happens, and then they remind you how right they were. I told you so. Well, a year ago, I put out a video on my channel called the top seven hardest marketing trends in 2021. One of them was VR. Now we've got the metaverse. I'm that guy. But look, bad marketing jokes aside, a lot happened this year and a lot is going to happen next year. We live in an ever-changing world. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to share with you the top seven hardest marketing trends that you need to watch out for in 2022. A lot of these marketing trends are going to create new financial opportunities or they're going to lead to massive improvements in certain industries. The commonality is that they're extremely juicy and hot. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm actually going to go in ascending order. So I'm going to start with the seventh one and then we're going to finish on a very high note with the hardest trend in 2022. So the seventh hot marketing trend to watch out for in 2022 is podcasting. Now, this one isn't new, but it's ever growing. A lot of people think that podcasting is dead, that it's already saturated. And if you think this is probably because you haven't looked at the data, 41% of the total US population listens to podcasts. It's a number that has doubled in the past five years. And so we're probably going to see a hockey stick growth in the next few years. And look, starting a podcast is great, not only because it's a massive opportunity because of the massive growth that it's seen, but also because it's a great way of cultivating relationships with potential clients. It's a great way of uh, getting people to see a different side of you. It's a completely different format. It's also a format that for a lot of people, it's very easy. You just have to record audio. So you don't really need fancy camera equipment and to you know sit down in a, I don't know, in a place like this with lights and all that stuff. You just need your voice, a mic, and that's it. And there's platforms like anchor.fm uh, where you can upload it and it will distribute it to all the top platforms. And the other reason why I love the format of a podcast is because it's great for cross pollination across all different platforms, across all different types of formats. For example, I've got a podcast myself called The Art of E-Commerce. And so we launched the full episode on the second channel. Then obviously we also take the audio of that episode and we upload it to anchor.fm so that it distributes it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all these other platforms. And then the great thing is that we do clips of the podcast. So the podcast may be 25 minutes and a lot of people may love to listen to those 25 minutes, but we actually condense it into smaller clips. So we might do two to seven minute clips on YouTube, which perform pretty well. And then we take it a step further and we do 10 second to one minute clips on TikTok and Instagram reels. And those have also been performing pretty well. And so you can see that with one single format, just you know, my co-host Antonio and myself sitting down, having a casual conversation about a specific topic, we create a bunch of different uh, YouTube videos. We create uh, obviously a podcast. We create different clips on YouTube and then we create smaller clips on TikTok and Instagram, allowing me to reach a lot more people. The sixth hot marketing trend to watch out for in 2022 is community led projects. What do I mean by this? If you look at popular crypto and NFT projects, they are largely driven by tight knit communities, communities that share similar passions, community that share similar goals of taking something to the moon. Whether it's a subreddit like Wall Street Bets or really any Discord community, they are incredibly powerful marketing tools and are very responsible for driving the financial success of those projects. There really is nothing more powerful like a community of believers in a certain mission to create hype and to create marketing. So how can you apply this and benefit from it? Really the easiest way that I've found is creating free Facebook communities. Facebook is pretty much dead except for its community features and obviously Facebook ads, but Facebook is really pushing those who uh, create and cultivate engaged Facebook groups. It's actually pretty crazy. I myself have a free Facebook community and sure I drive traffic to that Facebook community from my YouTube channel, but I get tons of people applying to the Facebook community because Facebook pushed it completely for free. So I didn't really have to do any marketing. Then they joined the community and I can cultivate those relationships. I can add a lot of value. And when you add a lot of value, a percentage will obviously buy. And I'm applying these concepts also for my e-commerce brands. It's a great way to capture new leads completely for free and also to send existing traffic, whether it's from Instagram or whether it's from a, a YouTube channel or whether it's from existing customers, a way to continually build this relationship with them. Number five, users as marketing. I mean a few things by this, but essentially it's using your own users, your own clients, your own customers as the best form of marketing. And I'm not even just talking about word of mouth, which is very powerful and just letting your customers speak for themselves and create content around you. And there's a bunch of creative ways of doing that. For example, when you send them a product, you know, Sephora Gold, right? Uh, when you send them this, that's not mine, that's my uh, girlfriend's, but when Sephora sent this to her, for example, uh, they sent it with a really cool box, right? And Obviously she's doing some, you know, influencer partnership with them, but inside the box, there were clear instructions on how to post that content on social media and, you know, what to say about that and who to tag, et cetera, et cetera, right? So letting your users speak for you, but I'm not even just talking about the word of mouth that they already do themselves. 
actually using that user generated content, right? So people posting using your product or people posting going through uh, your video program or people posting about how they're on a call with you, right? And how much value you added. Or for example, someone doing a video testimonial for you and using this content as paid ads. Typically and without getting too technical, I would use it for more of the bottom of the funnel. So people that are already interested in the service so that they get bombarded by testimonials and authority and social proof, but it's a really effective weapon for your paid ads. Another great way of doing this is for your organic content. So whether it's posting on your Instagram stories of your brand or your coaching program or whatever you're selling, posting on your Instagram stories, reviews and screenshots um, of people's results, maybe even DMs that they've sent you of how happy they are with the product. And the final way of using this weapon uh, as marketing material that I don't see many brands or uh, content creators do is interviewing happy customers. It's a great form of promotion and it makes for great content. And the reason why that is, is because of the fourth hardest marketing trend of 2022, people loving authentic long form audio and video content. It's kind of funny if you think about it, because in just a second, I'll talk about uh, the trend of vertical, very short form content, but the pendulum has been swinging back. And you can see platforms like TikTok increasing their video duration limit to up to three minutes. Instagram did the same. They went from 30 seconds to a minute. And so platform said, let me go super short form. And then the pendulum just kind of swung back a little bit. And they went, actually, let me just make it a bit longer. You also look at popular podcasts and video podcasts like Joe Rogan Experience, Impulsive, uh, the Nelk podcast, and a bunch of different podcasts that I'm not aware of. Uh, people love to just sit through two, three hours of content. And sure, maybe they're listening on the go, but a lot of people actually watch on their laptops, right? They watch the video version of it. Not only that, but on my channel, what I was speaking about with interviewing happy customers, I've got a lot of interviews with my students and a lot of them go over the one hour mark and some people like it way better than shorter videos. So that's the fourth hardest marketing trend for 2022. Now onto the third one. But before we get into it, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to smash the like button, helps out a ton with the algorithm, the whole channel, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get right into number three. The third hardest marketing trend to watch out for in 2022 is people over brands. Let me explain what I mean by this. With the massive growth of social media, the line between professional and personal has been blurred. Most people post their professional accomplishments on their personal pages. And more than ever, consumers wanna see the person behind the brand. They wanna hear the story of the founder. They wanna see who's actually behind the whole operation, right? They wanna look at a business and not just look at a company or an organization, look at it as a big corp, but instead boil it down to the people that make that company and ideally attach a face to it. Why? Because as humans, we like to connect with other humans. And so it builds more rapport when you can attach a face, a person to a certain business, right? You can make certain connections. You can think of how the person behaves or whether you like their personality or not. And you can see how that's translated into their business and how they run it into the products that they sell, into the programs that they sell, whatever this person is selling. And so what I've seen with my e-com agency, working with a lot of e-com brands and even starting my own e-com brand, I've seen that those brands that are creator run, so a creator, a content creator, someone who is an influencer or someone who posts content online or someone who has a, a digital persona, runs these brands or even attaches a face to the brand, doesn't even have to be a creator, right? Doesn't even have to be a big influencer. It's just that the ads that they see have a person attached to it, right? Maybe the ads are from the founder or from the team. They can go on the website and they can see the founder story or the team story. Uh, they can see people behind the brand and the marketing message is not logo based or product based. It is driven by people, real people, right? That have built this business. To give you an example, I actually tested this with one of my e-com brands. Now the brand was a cosmetic line. I won't talk too much about it. I'll probably make a whole video dedicated to just that brand. But essentially at first I was running ads from the Instagram and Facebook account of the cosmetic line, right? So, so under the business name uh, and that performed well, but I wanted to try things. I wanted to really attach a persona, a face to the brand. And what we did is not only did we attach the face to the brand, but we actually started running the ads from this person's Instagram and Facebook page. And that worked so much better. Now, yes, this person had like 15K followers, but it just completely outperformed the brand's pages, which didn't have a lot less followers. And it just comes to show that people over brands is the future. And it's going to be a massive trend in 2022 from the people online that actually succeed. The second super hot marketing trend for 2022 is vertical short form content. Instagram Reels and TikTok is only here to stay. Educating plus entertaining content is just booming right now and it's only gonna get bigger. People just love that format. Um, I'm sure it has a lot to do with uh, the current human attention span, but it's here to stay. You see platforms like YouTube implementing YouTube Shorts, the same format. Uh, you see other platforms like, for example, Snapchat with Snapchat Spotlight. Um, 
And that format is really here to stay. And so I'm not saying the other format is gone. In fact, we talked about how long form content is actually picking up and people love to sit through a one hour, two hour, you know, podcast, documentary, whatever it is, right? But that short form content has literally made so many careers, influencers, content creators, uh, and millionaires really over the past year or two. To an extent, it's the one thing that gave me a break in the social media space. In 2019, I realized just the massive potential of this. I saw TikTok uh, was just getting started. Uh, and I saw this new type of content that people were really liking and I started creating content in this format and I was able to grow my account from zero to 600k followers in less than a year or so. All right, so drum roll please. The final number one hottest marketing trend for 2022 is video ads. Underwhelming? No, because I'm not just talking about the traditional normal video ads. I'm here in my garage. I'm talking about implementing this short form vertical content into your advertising, into the ads that you create for either yourself, your brands, your uh, clients, whatever it is. For example, I was on a call with one of our Facebook reps, basically uh, an inside man within Facebook that helps us with our ad accounts, et cetera, et cetera. And he was telling me about the massive opportunity that there is with IG Reel ads. We tested it and he was right. <laughs> Uh, and so there's a massive opportunity with IG real ads. I think TikTok ads are going to be massive in 2022 as well. Just simply the whole format doesn't really look like an ad. And so that is why it works, right? People are scrolling through their feeds and all of a sudden they see something that looks like a TikTok. They see something that looks like an Instagram reel and they stop and they watch, especially if you format it in the same way, use the same fonts, use the same sort of color scheme, use the same sort of, you know, pauses and, and, and timing that you would use for a TikTok video or an Instagram reel. And so I've done that for Instagram reels and what I've even gone ahead and done and tested and, and has worked pretty well is I've taken that same formatting, same sort of bubbles and text and the whole formatting, right? And the whole timing. And I've actually implemented it for also horizontal videos so that I can do this on any placement. I can get in front of people on their feed with a horizontal video that looks like a TikTok, that looks like an IG reel. Why? Because ultimately it is the format that is super hot that people are loving uh, and they may love it for the next five, 10 years. We don't know, but it's important to capitalize on it. And I think it's here to stay and only gonna get bigger in 2022. All right, so that is that for this video. Those are the seven hottest marketing trends to watch out for in 2022. If you've enjoyed it, go ahead and smash the like button. And speaking of marketing and 2022, I think you're gonna really enjoy this video. So go ahead, watch it after this video. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.